What's up, folks? I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. And this is Blackboard Gaming, where we teach you about all these great board games that are out there. Waiting to be played by you and yours. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so today, we got a couple milestones to celebrate, okay? The first one is we have reached 2,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> and I, we are so appreciative that you guys, everybody that has been along for the ride, that have been commenting on the videos, that have been enjoying our content, and just having fun with us. We're really appreciative. And... But some, the, those of you who just now subscribe, welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> so the second milestone we're celebrating is this past Monday was our 30th wedding anniversary. Yep. Yes, that's right. <laughs> we have been official for 30 years. Yeah, I told you my ride or die. <laughs> So Alicia thought that it would be a great idea in honor of our anniversary to share with you some of the two player games that we have in our collection, you know? And so when she came to me with this idea, I'm like, hmm, how many have we actually played? <laughs> <laughs> you know, cause there's some that we've been dragging our feet on, you know? So over the past couple of weeks, we were making sure that there, there's some games that, like in our collection, I said, let's make sure we play these games so we can be able to talk about them, you know. So, without wasting any time, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So, the first game, this is the first game. Now, I don't know, this might be, well, I look at it like, it really says two to three to four players. It's really a two-player game. It's a two-player game. Yeah. <laughs> and that is Land versus Sea. <laughs> I like this game. Yeah. I mean, Land versus Sea, pretty much one player is playing as Land and one player is playing as the Sea. And you are trying to create uh, areas of land or bodies of uh, water in order to score points. And you score points but for the number of hexagons that's in that body of water. The thing is, there's these little uh, crosses that are in there. And if like, if I'm land and she creates a body of land for me, I'll get the points for the land, but she'll get the points for the number of crosses in there. So <laughs> what I like about this game is, first of all, it really feels like a jigsaw puzzle to me. <laughs> and I love jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, it does feel like that. <laughs> Second, it is a map. I love maps. You like creating a map. You're creating your own map. So, what I just said. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> so, two pluses for me. Yeah. And I, I really like this Yeah, game. so this is a lot of, get, of fun. And... This is the first game we played where we were really going head to head. Yeah, because I don't, I don't like being like too competitive with her, but we were going at it with this we game. We were going head to head with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's land versus sea. All right, so uh, the next one, I think this is the like the second, the real one, canopy. No, canopy is a fun game. Yeah, Canopy, you are building up your own Amazonian forest. And I mean, with art by Vincent Dutre, this is really, really beautiful game. And what you're doing is it's kind of got to push your luck element because you're drafting these cards. And there's like one card, two card, three card. You look at the one card, you say, ah, no, nah, I'm going to put that down and go for the next two. And then if you don't like those two, then you go for the three. And you're always adding cards. And so the thing is, there are some cards that are detriment to your your forest. You know, but there are some things that you're trying to grow trees and you're trying to get these animals and certain uh, flora in the, in, in the game, you know. And 
the art, it just allows me to enjoy the Amazonian forest from afar. <laughs> because <laughs> the art is amazing. Yeah. And <laughs> this game, it just it just portrays the rich, vibrant variety of life in the rainforest. Yeah. And that's what I love about it. And that's it. and as long as they remain in the rainforest. I'm good with that. All right. So the next one. So I know, you know, my wife, her spatial sense is a bit challenged. And I say that with love. Okay. But it's something that I realize. Okay. So I introduced her to boop. I cannot say just boop. I can't. I, I got to say boop every <laughs> single time. Boop. Okay. <laughs> So, what did you think of Boop? I think Boop is cute. <laughs> but it's just not a game I want to play again and again and again. Right. Well, I originally bought this to play with Rachel. Okay. Which is her friend's daughter, you know. And we got a chance to play it, and she was enamored with the cats. <laughs> you know, and the kittens and all that. So, but Boop is, I'm sorry, Boop. I got to make sure I say it right. Boop. You know. <laughs> This one is a great game to introduce to folks. If they really like something like chess or something like that. Yeah, it's a low, it's a um, simpler entry level kind of chess kind of game. Now, you know they got a, a, another um, ver another game. It's a standalone. And it's called Boop. <laughs> yeah. That little ghost kid. Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> it is really cute. So I, I, I want to play that one. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of, you know, chess, now I got a couple games that you um, have not played, you know, but I love them. And yes. in one game, I champion, you know, and that is Onitama. <laughs> <laughs> this is the game, like, if you love chess, you know, so chess is a strategic game. There is no luck in chess. No luck. So if you do, you may know how to play it, but it's going to take you a minute to know how to win. Now, what I like about Onitama is all the moves are out on in front of, you know, it, the moves are made by these cards. And, you know, it's like you have your master and then his disciples. And you win by either way of the, I think it's way of the stone by capturing the other player's master or the way of the river by placing your master in the uh, other opponent's master's originated space. You know, okay. where he starts from. Okay. You know, and like this game is, I love the components of the game. Got the little neoprene mat and everything. And it, everything, all your moves are on these cards. There are five cards in the game. There's a bunch of cards that come with the game. But when you start, set up the game, you pick five of these cards from random and one t one player gets two the other player gets two and then we put one that rotates around that rotates okay. starts to rotate and i introduced this to my uncle who loves chess mm -hmm. i've introduced this to a lot of people that love chess even rachel who loves chess that's why we play Woo! no <laughs> i like chess but i am better at teaching it than winning it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other game, I got to talk about this one. And this was like one of the first games I got. And I remember when it came out, it was hard to find. I've hunted everywhere for this game, you know. And that is uh, Santorini. Santorini. This is probably one of the most beautiful games to me, you know. Just the way the board, you got all those buildings with the blue domes. And the whole thing about it is you're moving your figure and you're building buildings. And you're you're trying to get your figure, your character, up to the third level, on top of the third level. But the thing is, you're also building these blue domes that covers up the third level. So that and that's the whole tactical uh, strategy in this game. Okay. You know, and I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at that. That game is so beautiful. <laughs> so I had to point this out. All right. Um, the other one, there's 
So the next game we're going to talk about is she is the reigning champion. <laughs> because she will not grant me a rematch. And I'm a little hurt by that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that is Star Wars the deck building game. <laughs> in, in my defense... Part of the reason is I do just want to remain the champion. <laughs> but second, we've just been busy, and there are other games what that I'd ever, rather play. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that you'd rather, whatever. <laughs> so, okay. First of all, you know, we don't play too many cards, you know, going up against each other. Like, so... I, I felt that this one might be one you might be attracted to because at least you know about Star Wars. So I said, you can play as the Rebellion and I'll play as the Empire. You know, I even did heavy breathing while we were playing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? And so we played this twice. She won both times. Did we play it three times? Nope, twice. Oh, okay. Twice. No, nah, you weren't going to win a third time, no. Nah, that wasn't happening. No, no, no. I wouldn't have talked about this game. <laughs> like, okay, that sounds like a challenge, people. I think I'm going to have to play this game again with him. So the first game we played was the teaching game. And I'm explaining to her that she starts with her 10 cards. And then what she does, the cards give her money and they give her a attack power. And so she's using the money to buy cards from the middle row. I think it's called the galactic row or something like that. And I told her it would do wise to get more powerful cards into your deck. And so Luke Skywalker shows up early. Now, it's Luke Skywalker. So once she got Luke Skywalker in her deck, it was all downhill from there. Oh, do y'all hear that? <laughs> oh, I did not play him. I just got lucky. You right. Yeah. We need a rematch. Well, the second time, well, that, I looked at the first one was a teaching game. Okay. And then the second time, you know, she understood that, yep, I need to get more cards in my deck. So, who should pop up in the first six cards? Princess Leia. Princess Leia says, like, when you usually you buy a card, you put in your discard pile. Princess Leia has you put it on top of your deck, the first card you buy. There were so many battleships that, you know, you're, you're trying to destroy each other's uh, home base. Mm -hmm. But And then you could place battleships out there to protect your home base. So Princess Leia lets you put the card back on the top of the deck, so it'll be the next card you draw battleships all through the galactic row so pretty much her base had like six battleships i know six and more four but it was a bunch of battleships i can't attack the planet unless i get rid of the battleships and you kept getting battleships all i hear is <laughs> sore loser sore loser sore loser i'm just saying there's a rematch <laughs> okay yeah you know i told my friend about it and he said did you take dark vader's tie fighter and throw it off into the distance like in the movie you know <laughs> oh yeah we need a rematch yeah we going we going to come back cuz the empire strikes back <laughs> i'm just telling you all right now, these are games that we played before Alicia came up with the idea, you know. Well, actually, no, there's one more, and we just posted the video for it. This is the game that we were gifted at uh, from Gen Con. Let me grab it, and that is Sky Team. <laughs> I love this. This game is probably one of my top of the year. Really? It, yeah, it, it's just really fun. It is fun. I mean, we we haven't visit visited the uh, other airports. the other uh, airports or the other scenarios, but just playing the base game is fun. It is. So Sky Team is really really good. I'll leave a link in the description below so you go check out our video for this. So what <laughs> what I love about Sky Team is we have to play together, so he can't win without. Oh me. yeah, it's cooperative. <laughs> I don't know why she whispering. I'm right here. He, he, he can't win without me. So, you know, what? Uh, okay. We played it, what, three times? First time we crashed. 
Second time we crashed. You trying to blame that on y'all see that? It's my fault. <laughs> She's the pilot. It's I my let her fault. play as the pilot. I'm the co-pilot. I follow your lead. Okay. You know. So that's how we gonna do it. That's how we gonna do it. <laughs> yep, that's how we gonna do it. Okay. All right. So moving on. How many was that? I didn't, I didn't even give the number of how many we were talking about. I want to say four. But anyway, no, that was more than four. Five. Well, anyway, let's move on ahead. So in pre preparation for this video, there were a couple of games that I have been dragging my feet in playing with you. You know, the first one is beer and bread. <laughs> <laughs> beer and bread is cute. And it was fun, but it is challenging. <laughs> so in beer and bread, we're we're rival. Well, we're friendly. It's a we have friendly. a friendly rivalry of, of competing farms. Yes. And we're trying to bake bread and brew beer, you know. And so you're drawing these cars, and they're multi-use cars. Um, and you can either use the car to get resources. What is it? Wheat, um, hops. Uh, hops. You know, I can't remember. Barley. What Barley. Yep. And then, or you can use it to fulfill a recipe for the bread or the beer that you're trying to bake and brew, whatever. Or you can use that car to upgrade your farm. You know, to give you a special ability. Like every time you get a hops, you get another hops. You know, and like this game, I love the art on this game. I, I, I was like, this is a really, really fun game, you know. So, beer and bread. Now, the next one we played, <laughs> this one oh. frustrated her. <laughs> Lost Cities. <laughs> yes, it, it took some getting used to. Yeah, because I picked this up at a Target. It was on clearance. I, I like the game. Yeah, I, I really like this game, but boy, was she. <laughs> so you know how you have to play in sequence. And once you say if you throw out a four, if three comes out, you can't play it. So anyway, what it is, is you are trying to start these expeditions, okay? And there's like the desert, the volcano, the snow, of the forest and it's the one water of the, the water underwater and so when you start an expedition once you play a card for that expedition you are already in the hole 20 points you're negative 20 so pretty much it, it represents the investment into the expedition and what you're trying to do is build up enough cars with the, where you add up their numerical bad but they have to be in sequence yeah so if you play the four you can't play the two or three, you know. And, and it just seemed like I will hold out forever. <laughs> Finally, I'm like, okay, let me go on and play this four. Soon as I play the four, <laughs> what comes up but the two or the three? Yep. And I mean, the thing is, also there's these, uh, what is it, wager cards? Yes. So you, there are wager cards that you have to place you, you can only place them before you even start any cards. Yeah, with, but once you place that, it's a multiplier. So whatever points you get, it multiplies it. And there are three wager cards for each color, for each expedition. So if you get, like, if you put down a wager card and you don't finish that expedition, don't even put a card, you're not getting negative 20. You're getting negative 20 times two. So negative yeah. 40 points. So you, if you put a wage card, you better go ahead and try to get them yes, cards out. Yes. So yeah, I we played this what three times, and I, I, I drug my feet on this one because I heard about this game through a lot of other content creators, you know, and it's by Reiner Canicia, you know, the makers of Raw. I like it, <laughs> and I, I, I really like this game, and I like the theme because you know how I feel about uh, archaeology and the yeah. Jones style, you know. So, it'd be frustrating. It was so funny. But I, but I still, <laughs> I still won. She won, but it was funny watching her like put down the four and go, ah! <laughs> you know, I did the same thing. I ain't gonna lie, but it was funnier with you. <laughs> All right. 
Now this one we really been dragging our feet on because we both champion Splendor. So we finally got Splendor Duel to the table. Now, I still love the original Splendor, but for just two players, Splendor Duel packs a punch. Yeah, this is perfect. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> and honestly, generally, I don't do the take that, but it was kind of fun. She So I told her that one of the, some of the cards, the mines or whatever, give you a special power. One of them lets you take a gem from another opponent. And when I was telling her about it, she's like, oh, I don't like that part. She played that card and immediately took my pearl. No hesitation. None. Whatsoever. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm... I'm <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't sabotage him all the time. Yeah, no, it was that one time. So, you know, she won because she got the most crimes. The one cool thing about, like, in regular Splendor, you, whoever gets the 15 points wins. And this one, whoever... It's three ways to it's win. It's three ways to win, you know. So, yeah, we really enjoyed this one. And we're going to play this one again. Yeah, okay. And you know what else we're going to play again? <laughs> Yep, okay. <laughs> now, there is one game that, and I think the reason I forgot it, because I don't think I'll ever play it two players again. You know, because, I mean, it's a, it's only a two-player game, or you can play it cooperatively. And I kept, as I'm going through this, I was like, oh, yeah, we did this one, too. And I said, if I left this out, she'd be mad at me. Now, <laughs> we are going to play this one again, but he's right. We're not going to play it two players. No, no, because I feel so bad. He he didn't. He he hated being a bad guy, and I'm not going to be. And in and, and most games, I like being a bad guy. I play Dracula, Inferior Dracula. But this is different. <laughs> this isn't a created thing. This is real people in real life, so I get it. Yeah, okay, well. Still, I'm not playing. I'm not playing the bad guy in this. We gonna play this again. We gonna play it together. Yep. So okay. we gonna be a team. A team, like in Sky Team. Like we're a real team. Yeah. Well, thirty years a real team. Yeah. I got that. Don't you can't gotta rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. Except there are a couple games that I would like to play with you. Okay. Now, one, so, how many games did I say I got at Origins? 20? No, or not Gen Con, Origins. I said I only came back with. Oh, you claim you only came back with what, two? Yeah, two. I think it was two. Okay, we gonna, we gonna go with that. Well, it was one that I forgot that I bought when I first got there. And I bought it, I picked it up, and then I was like, where is it? You know, and I finally found out where it was. That's FICA. I, I think it's think called FICA. FICA. Yeah, and it's like we're we're uh, competing coffee shops or tea shops. You know, and this one messes with you too. Okay. Mess with each other. So I definitely want to play this. Okay. One. Okay. Um, what's the last next one? Oh, this one you're not gonna play with me. I know, but I love this game, and that's I love this game, Mall Peak. Yeah, this was the game where uh, one person plays as a tribe of bear creatures and the other player plays as the big giant monster that's uh, terrorizing their, their village or whatever. And what I love most about it, first of all, I love the giant meeples. Okay. They are beautiful. I'm like, wow, they, they, they add a lot of theme to this. Okay. And, and then the fact that, so the bear creatures, in order to defeat the giant creature, they have to jump on this other map, which represents the creature's body. And they're okay. climbing up the body and, and, he, and they're he, hitting them in, at the knee and all that. He's right. I'm, I'm not <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know this, you, this is not your thing, you know, but I played it once. I loved it. So I had to feature it. Okay. It's a two-player game. Okay. So there, you know, the last one. Very last one. And we got some more two-player games. But, you know, this one I thought about 
as I was looking. Morels. <laughs> you know, we're the, foraging the for mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah, you okay. don't like mushrooms. Well, I'm not eating mushrooms. I got you. I want to play this one with you. We're foraging mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Okay. You know, so that's that's that. Okay. All right. So anyway, I don't even know how many that was. Was it 13? I just thank you so much, help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of help. <laughs> anyway, those are two player games that we have in our collection, you know. And there's a couple more, but I wanted to like just stick with the ones that we played that I've actually played except for Morels and FICA those okay. are the two I want to play with you okay but you know the other ones we have played okay so did you have fun dear yes I yes, did this is your idea we went through with it happy anniversary happy anniversary okay <laughs> if you like the contents of this video feel free to hit the like button subscribe Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'm Dwayne. I'm Alicia. I'm her husband. <laughs> I'm his wife. <laughs> we. This is Blackboard Gaming. <laughs> we will see you next time. <laughs>